welcome back everybody to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I am your host Alexander Frost and this is episode 22. Oh goodness. First of all everyone, I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving and if you're off doing Black Friday sales, please, please do be careful because I know people are crazy. And because it is now officially the Christmas shopping season, I'm going to kick things off by making this a double-length episode. So yes, hang on to your butts. It's going to be at least an hour long. Well, maybe 50 minutes, something like that. But it's going to be longer than normal. Yeah! Alright, so, on the last episode I said I was going to uh, do a little farming after the fact and see if I could get my hands on the fire shield and thankfully i was able to not only that i got my hands on a couple of other weapons i didn't expect to in this case i got a hold of the obsidian sword an interesting little two-handed sword it looks really cool uh, i do believe it drops from the lesser demon i think i'm not 100 percent sure you know it has the same dash you know back forward and attack and all that other it's just a two-handed sword it just looks really cool But the thing that surprised me was the whole beam dagger. That came from the lesser demons. And what was so odd about it is, is I never knew it existed. Whenever you attack with it, it's this weird diagonal up attack. There's no special other attacks that go with it. But what makes it unique is, just like the Christogrim, you can attack with it while you're moving forward. And of course, that's not nearly as powerful as the Chrysogrim, but it is an interesting and unique weapon that I just... I never knew it existed. Never knew it was in the game. Had no idea. And then finally... Where are you? Where are you? There it is. The fire Shield! Grants protection from fire has this neat little effect going back and forth. I don't think I can hurt any things just by touching them. And, I'm using the Malbung, right? Yes. <laughs> I had to actually make sure for a second. And, its attack is pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's not a Seeking Fire attack, so I wasn't able to hit my target at all. But damn, is it powerful. Hey, land. Hey. Hey, I need you to land for a second. Okay, that answers that question. No, you cannot hurt them by touching them with the shield. Now, the last thing I should have mentioned is, um... I got confused with the Cthulhu earlier. I was like, what the hell is it doing on this level? How did it appear? Was it summoned by a lesser demon? No. Um, apparently there's a Cthulhu just running around on the upper level, and every so often he'll just hop on down, you know, like you saw how the Lesser Demon was able to literally fly through that background pillar, and, uh, completely bypass, you know, something I had to jump over. Apparently the Cthulhu can just, you know, hop down off of higher levels and do that as well, if it feels like it. So, it was literally just appearing out of nowhere and surprising the hell out of me. Now, uh, the Gram is... Uh, literally, it's just nothing special. It's, um, it's just a one-handed sword. Nothing special to it. Nothing special. Uh, I was also mistaken in the last episode. I said the Gurthang powered up as it killed enemies. I'm not sure it is. I think it's if you kill bloody enemies, but it isn't really mentioned and it doesn't take a long time. And I know someone wanted me to, to equip the Masamune... Like, do a time-lapse of using the Masamune to fight my way <laughs> through tons and tons of enemies, and then once it was stupidly powered up, just one-shot the final boss. As amusing as that would be, that would take far more time than I have to devote to this Let's Play. I wish I could, and maybe someday, in my own time, I may just do that. But unfortunately... I don't have the time to devote to it now. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm sorry to disappoint. Let's see, it is definitely sunset. So let me put on my sunstone because the clock on my PS4, PS4, my PS3 is still not correct and I, I'm not going to correct it. <laughs> 
Now, someone all that same person that wanted me to, to power up the Masamune also said that I should get the Heaven Sword. As it turns out, the Heaven Sword is dropped by the Cloaked Knight, the same enemy that drops the Flamberge. And as cool as that weapon is, it is a right bitch to get. And once again, it would probably take me more time than I have to devote to this Let's Play to actually get it. So, yeah. Um... Mm. So before... Ooh, no, that's a bad idea. Alright, so first things first. Uh, I need to go and find the next little... Hey there, buddy. Oh. Alright. Looming Doom. Okay. Also, oh, hey, there's another one. <laughs> uh, for my trouble, I gotta resist Dark Sword. I resist Dark. Yes, I resist Dark Sword. I resist Dark Potion. Most importantly, before I do anything, I wanna go back to the library in the normal castle and see what items the library has for sale, because that does change as you go through the game. And yes, I know, I'm getting slapped upside the head back. It's my own problem. I can't move this pillar, but you'll need to because you can go up and around thanks to your mobility. So let me explore this little room real quick like. Won't take long. Well, ow! That was unnecessary, sir. It was unnecessary and mean. What? It's a talisman. It's literally just a talisman. What does it do? May absorb damage taken. Does not up my stats. It just may absorb the damage I've taken. I'll have to look it up and find out what that's all about. It could prove to be useful. More than likely not. Bat Doken. <laughs> Wait, is that going to... Yes, it is. That is going to lead me to the thing I need to find. To the thing of the price of the stuff! Specifically, it's going to lead me in here. And now that I'm here... I can go on ahead and go back to the library. Because the area I was in... The spot I was in was so far away from anything else that if I had gone straight back to the library, I would have to go to Deathwing's Lair, otherwise known as Orlok's Quarters in Reverse, and trek through almost half the castle just to get back to where I was, or I could go forward a few more rooms and then move on. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to go back and see what the old man has for sale. <laughs> Put my sword back on. Oh, another thing I want to change real quick because I'm OCD like that. There. Organize everything. What can I do for you? You can do stuff for me, sir. I'm interested in this. Oh, yes. <laughs> like you. Nice. <laughs> like you. <laughs> like you. See, I was dumb when I first played this game. I assumed the duplicator would duplicate my money items, so I thought I could duplicate the number of garnets and such I had for sale. No. I was dumb when I was a kid. <laughs> like you. <laughs> like you. Nice. <laughs> like you. Oh, but it's still gonna take a long time to get to the amount of money I need to buy the duplicator. Oh my god. I'm interested in this. Alright, let's see. You still have all the same stuff. Oh, you have mana prisms? No, you had those for sale. Elixirs, those are going to be helpful. Uh, Anti-Venom, don't really need those. Well, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and buy a couple. Because that's, that's literally the only negative status I have to worry about. Magic Missile, Block and Knife, Boomerang, Javelin, Fire Boomerang, Shuriken, Enchanted Library Card, I already have one. 
Saber, nice. Damascus Sword, Firebrand. It's the Fire Sword of Oberon. And a weaker version of the Marso, I think. Ice Brand, the th Ooh, I don't have the Thunder Brand. Well, it's a Thunder Sword, it does the same thing as the others. Uh, the Harper... Oh, that's it. Okay, Leather Shield, Iron Shield, a Velvet Hat? I don't remember that one. Hmm. Silver Crown. Brings down my strength, but ups my intelligence. Okay. Diamond Plate. Kind of surpassed that at this point. It's really... I don't think there's anything here for sale for me. Oh, yeah. The last... One of the last spells I have, the Tetra Spirits. Because I haven't figured it out on my own. So yeah, I'll go ahead and buy that one, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Farewell for now. So, Tetra Spirits... Let's see, I have summon, uh, summon Spirit, which is da 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 Dark Metamorphosis, Wool Charge, which I figured out, Sword Brothers, which was cool. Ah, okay, so it looks like Tetra Spirits is kind of the opposite of Sword Brothers, kind of. So it's hold up, then quarter circle, forward to down, and then attack, okay? So one, two... So it summons four spirits. That's pretty cool. Alright, so gonna take me a little while to get where I need to go, so I will see you guys when I get back there. Alright, it took a little while, but I made it back where I wanted to go, so let's continue onwards to explore the castle, plunder its secrets, and become ever closer to beating the game, really. No, not Slice. Sweet. Nice. I did pick up that heart up, didn't I? Yes, I did. I was just in the middle. I was busy talking whenever I did it, so it didn't really register in my mind. It's like for a minute there, I was like, "Did I do that thing?" Because if I didn't do that thing, that's going to be a problem. Because that thing's kind of important. My face. Oh, wait, wait. Sweet free high potion. And a dodo bird. Hey, the dodo bird has something that I need. Oh! What the fuck? Forgot about those guys. So the dodo bird apparently has a sword, or a weapon, or something. No idea what, but I'm not going to bother trying to find out. There you go. I know that if you if you're really careful, you can kill the dragon rider, but not the dragon, and it will just kind of fly away. Free pot roast. Now, once again, we're going to do the trick of going in one way. No! Get up there! Pop. Get up there, puppy! Right, go in one way. Fly out the other. Did that do it? No. Alright. Go in this way. Come out that way. Did that do it? Okay, come on, there's only so many ways I can do this. Going this way as pup, come out as bat. Did that do it? Okay, that did it. Free zircon, free opal, and a barrel circlet. Don't I have one of those? feel like I have one of those. No, I think it was for sale. But uh, lightning damage will now heal me. Good to know. I'm going to duck down here real quick. And see what this area has to offer. More jack of bones jack of bones and nova skeletons and... Oh dear. Ow. Okay, time has very little owl meaning for her. 
Okay, I'm just gonna fly away. I'm just gonna fly away. No. Ow! That, that was not fun. I did not like anything about what just happened there. So I'm gonna save. <laughs> and we're gonna try again on our way out and this time not fail. Hearts. 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 Fire boomerang. Because that was worth risking my life. Oh, and the dagger. Don't forget the dagger sub weapon. That was clearly worth risking my ass. No, I don't want that. Yeah, this is how this is going. Look, look, I need to get down onto the floor so I can fight you. Jeez. This room is full of suck. Hey! Terminus Est, don't I have that? I don't think so. No, it'll be down at the bottom. It is a two-handed poisoned executioner's sword. And it's a one-handed sword! I'll use it for a little bit, just for fun. Never going in there again, but I'll use it just for funsies. Now, do I have to actually touch those up? Okay. I don't have to duck into the water in order to make it count. Now, let's see. I don't want to go up that way yet because I want to see what's down here first. Well, not down here. I want to see what's over in the front first. Because there could be good stuff. Hello again. No, you're bigger. You're bigger and you sounded different. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, I'm okay, okay. But yeah, no. It's free. Be free. Be free. Wait, are you following me? I can steer it. It is following me. He's happy. I walked right through Nova Skeleton and was not paying attention because I saw the Fire Ward and the Ward Rider, and I was like, I really need to kill that first. Okay, the Terminus Est is not bad. It's not bad, but I think since I keep taking hits, for the time being, let's go with the Mourn Blade. And hey, you know what? Since I was complaining about feeling like a freaking... I feel like I'm uh, a glass cannon. Let's let's put on the walk armor for now. I mean, it's only an extra six points of defense, and I do lose six points of intelligence, but let's do it. I might live a little longer. I don't want the cross sub weapon. A hammer and an uncurse. I'm sorry, an anti venom. Clearly, that was worth the effort of coming here. Oh, and let's not forget the room I cannot go into. Well, that takes care of the front area of the castle.
Yeah, if you're careful, you can free the other opals. Bad dog. Trying to hurt me while I'm trying to heal up. Kind of loud. I'm trying. I was trying to free the other ones, but I really just need to kill everything and be done with it. Oh, hey, I'm back at full health. All right, more blade. We're good. Where'd it go? I lost it. It's probably all the way down at the bottom again. You know, I'm going to use the fire sword for a little bit. I keep moving around the different swords. I know. I'm sorry. That's just cool. Because I, I guess I figured once I had the firebrand, I didn't really need the Marsil, so there was no point looking it up. But I mean, I mean, just, just, if I can get it to work. I mean, look at that! That's a huge area of effect attack. That's super useful. Where you going? Part of me want go. Part of me wants to know what it has. But I don't know what it has. And I don't want to take the time to find out because that would take a really long time. Also, I just realized I wanted to like climb the tower and all that good stuff to get up there and do the stuff and the <sighs> But I would have to go a long no, I wouldn't have to go a long ways back. I'm overthinking again. I could just as easily use the teleporter thing to get around. That was close. That was nearly painful, painful death. Oh yeah, ow. Fuck you! There's a save room right here that I can use to recover my health, so fuck you, Nova Skeleton. Head back to Orlok's quarters. I'm sorry, Deathwing's lair, and then from there to the center of the castle. Center of the castle? Is that where I want to go? Yes, because I want to go to the right from the castle, center of the castle, and then start climbing up the waterfall and all that, where I fought the succubus and whatnot. Nope, that's the library. That's uh, Dracula's place. We're looking for an. A goat. There we go. And, um... There's one thing I want to do. I know it's kind of cheap. Actually, two things I want to do. <laughs> I want to fight the final guard again. Hold it. Am I going the right way? I don't know. Yes, I am. I wasn't sure. Wow! Dude, that's stupid powerful. really like the Marcel. Marcel, however you want to say it, man. Get up there. I was just using it to get him away from me. I wasn't going to try and fight him. I'm not going to fight him with the fire sword. I'm not that dumb. I mean, I know I've been accused of some pretty stupid things. Like, double jumping way too soon, as you can see here. Man, oh man. Alright, 
First of all, Dude, fuck off. Dude, ah. You're throwing me off while I'm trying to fight this guy. Okay, he complete ow completely guards against that. Good to know. So the fire shield is li the fire is literally doing nothing. It's literally doing not a damn thing. Where is my Morn Blade? Where is my Morn Blade? Daddy needs his Morn... Not his Morn Blade. No, yes, his Morn Blade. I'm getting my words wrong. No. My Malbung! That's what I want. Ugh. <sighs> I wanted to see how effective that attack would be, and it turns out it's pretty effective. And it makes sense that this powerful enemy is here, because it's literally at the center of the castle, right before the final boss fight. It's, it's, it's supposed to be a stupid powerful guy here. Secondly, I wanted to see how quickly I could fight this guy with the Chrysogrim. Yeah, you're gonna be like, I'm just gonna keep blocking, and that's not gonna do a damn bit of good. Yeah, fuck you. Where is my Morn Blade? Now I want it, because now I need to heal up. Oh crap. Okay, panic, panic, panic. Okay. There. Actually, it doesn't matter. I can go ahead and switch back to the Malbung. Because look, save room. So yeah, apparently even the armor, even the walk armor is not helping all that much. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Alucard armor and take the protection it gives me. <sighs> from the elements. I know it drops me on my attack power and all that, but... Oh, good. More of the same. You fucking jack of bones. Oh my god, I just realized something I never did. In the rever in the original re version of this room, I never went back to all those areas that required a double jump or turning into a bat to reach stuff. I mean, all I'm missing out is on little things like, you know, lock potions and stuff like that. Not weapons or anything major, but I just realized that I never went back and did that. And while it's not necessary for a 100% run, like, yeah, this little spot right in here, back in the other castle, would have had a little something like a luck potion or a smart potion or what have you. Just never went back and got it. Just completely, completely skipped my mind. Skipped my mind? Yeah. That's what I'll call it. I just completely, completely didn't think about it. But that is okay, because I'm not missing out on a whole lot. And I already filled the areas out, so there's no point in going back, so it's all good. It's all relative. Or something like that. Wow, really? That was unexpected. Alright, as long as I just keep climbing, I can beat them. Well, I can beat them out of the room, I mean. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. This is how we're getting through this room. <laughs> even a space just large enough for Bat to get through. <laughs> really, game? Really? You're gonna do that shit? Really?
This game, I swear, sometimes it is a, it is such a troll. It's such a troll sometimes. I just realized I'm literally taking a shortcut to get back to the starting area. Wow, there's no way I could jump through that without getting hit. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to jump through that without getting hit. Yeah, that literally leads right over to there. Alright, so... I'm gonna have to backtrack. So I'll be back in a moment. Oh, what? Okay, a quick aside, I just turned around to come back, and now there are these stone skeletons that weren't here before! What the hell? What is this? <laughs> okay, 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 seriously, I'll be I'll be right back this time. What the hell, game? Alright, I think I'm where I want to be. I don't remember if this is the one I want to go in, but we're gonna go ahead and go in this one first. This might be the short one. Okay, that's the short one, so I actually don't want to be here. I want to be in the next one, so I'll be right back again. Okay, this is where I want to go first. Because clearly, I needed the iron ball before anything else happened. <laughs> well, this is such a short trip, I'll just, I'll just fly my way through. Okay, all right. Oh, man. Oh, you still need to stay in bat form because you got to jump up here. Oh, thank God. Finally make it some progress. Good progress. And yep, we're going to save again. Because some of those enemies, I swear, the first castle hurts. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to hit a point where it's all going to become trivial, but holy damn. The first castle hurts, man. Which way do I want to go for? Um, I'll go ahead and straight climb this. Come on. Straight climb this first. Get my $500. We're going to go ahead and go in here because there is no boss fighting. Just lots and lots of enemies. I do not want the cross sub weapon, thank you. I like my clock. Nice. Here's how we're going to go through here. This is going to be just a little bit faster with these balloon pods in the way. I do believe, yes, more meal tickets. Clearly the greatest of prizes. And apparently, someone wrote somewhere that the meal tickets in here are replenishing. Like, you can keep breaking them open and keep getting meal tickets. I don't think that's the case. I think they were mistaken. I mean, it would be pretty cool if it was the case, but I don't think that's the case. So we're gonna spend five and see what we get. Some ramen. Shiitake. Sushi. Green tea. I'm sensing a theme here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was starting to wonder for a minute there. <laughs> Just ramen, shiitake, mushrooms, sushi, green tea. Go to Japan! <laughs> I think that's what the game was trying to tell me. <laughs> and here we have ourselves a save point. Yay. Well, this might be worth testing, actually. And peanuts. There are peanuts in here. Or maybe they meant this for 
the peanuts in here replenish. I can get infinite peanuts! <laughs> and there's a save point right across the way so I can keep doing it. I can get infinite peanuts, guys! Game broken, it's over. Infinite peanuts. You know what? That's the name of this episode. Infinite peanuts. <laughs> Infinite peanuts for everyone! Little did the world know that Alucard was in fact the creator of the Snickers bar. Because he needed to do something with the infinite peanuts he had. <laughs> oh. No! I don't want the cross! So that was a fun little diversion. No, 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 no! Oh, I hate how you can't double... Ugh, I hate how you can't do the gravity jump out of that sometimes. So annoying. Not in there. Haven't quite topped out over 600 yet, but it's coming. I know what awaits me in here. We're not going in there yet. Oh, crap. It's still hit down. Fuck. Okay, fine. She's a toughie. Much tougher than the other Venus weeds. Well, why I say that like there's more than one type of Venus weed here. She really likes to give proctology exams, using her vines. There are those that love her, and those that hate her, but most just fear her, and rightly so. Oh, come on. What am I missing? Is it that? Oh. That right there is probably the worst part about getting the full clear of the castle is trying to hit every single little itty bitty point on the map, and that was probably it right there. Oh. You're gonna fight me on this one, aren't you? Yeah, that's a cave troll, by the way. Don't get too excited, just a cave troll. Nothing to get worked up over. As far as I know in the reverse castle, there are no enemies in the water. Probably because of the nature of well no wait, no, no, no. I think the killer fish is still in the water and it is actually upside down. I should probably clear the room first before I concern myself with trying to clear the map. But, uh, well, what can I say? Well, I don't think I'll be able to get this perfectly clear. That is okay. I will get as close as I can and be out happy with that. Because it doesn't have to be perfect just need, quote-unquote, enough. And I just obtained the Force of Echo. With the Force of Echo, my Echo attack now does damage. That's all. It just does damage now. So I can literally fight as the bat on two different fronts.
But I mean, you know, getting hit will still knock me out of my form, so, yeah, you know. Thank you, sword. Ow. Turning into mist, leaving the room. That was a good aim. So, I'm gonna go fight this guy now. Up. Oh, wait. He has... Where is it? Where is it? He has a poison sword. I'm actually gonna fight him legit. He can use the bat charge all on command. Ha <laughs> ha! Hit me, bro! No! It hit me with your sword, asshole! Oh, right, you can turn your stuff. You know what? Just to be mean. Just to be a little mean. Where's that red rust? Enjoy not being able to swing your sword, bitch! That you were going to try. That was completely mean of me. That was completely unnecessary of me. I didn't have to do that, but I did it anyway. Do I need to hit the. Oh no, I got good. Okay. okay. <gasps> Zircon! You know, I don't even know if Zircon's actually green in real life. Pull up! That room is a room of death! <laughs> oh, wait, I have to go in there. Okay. So, when you come to this room, most important thing be ready to turn into form of mist or form of bat. Because the moment you drop in there, there is no safe place for you to land unless you land here. If the game's literally. Ah! No! Fuck! Shit! Ah! Uh -huh. So these are the Dark Octopi. They are very, very powerful and very, very dangerous. However, they are worth a lot of experience. Like, for example, it's aiming 4,304 for the next level up. Ow. Okay, maybe not a lot of experience, but, I mean... With the right weapons, I could literally just fight my way. I could literally glide my... I could get a lot of experience, and here's what I'm saying. And this is also one of the few times where the enemies will actually respawn if you leave the room, or if you just leave or move too far away. You know what? I'm not going to get through here quickly unless I use the Chrysogrim. I don't want to use it, but this is one of those times where it's like, if I don't use it, I'm going to be... It's going to take me forever to get out of this room. That I could have I could use the Marcel as well. But my reward is the Dark Blade. Another one-handed sword, I do believe. It's a sword forged by elves. Apparently. No special attacks, it's just a dark sword. 
Whoa. Okay. I got confused on how much strength I was getting off of it. I'm very easily confused, if you hadn't noticed. Ooh, that's close. Let's try the Marcel and see how well it works getting out of here. Might as well. That's what we're all about. We're all about experimenting here, right? Oh, wow. Marcel's super effective in here. Uh, actually, the Gur thing. Let me test this one, too. Are these enemies that drop blood? No, they're not. They do not count for some whatever reason. All right, we're going to go Marcel then. Goodbye, gentlemen. I need to do that. Oh, man. Woo! So, yeah, that's some good experience in there. That's some good experience. I could probably... Yeah. For active leveling, I could probably just work my way through that room for a while. Probably. If I weren't level 45. Is this the way I want to go? Yes, because I want to finish exploring the upside of the tower. I want to go back up, basically. Oh, good. Don't touch those. Hey, another room with imps. Marcel's going to be really useful in here. Well, a imp. And an opal. Why are you in here by yourself, little man? There's literally nothing you can do. I mean, you can make me start swinging my sword, but that's about it. You're all alone. You're not going to do very much to me in here. Oh yeah. I like the sword now. I don't like you. This is so much more effective. Oh, I still... Forgot that I have the freaking Topaz Circlet on. Completely forgot that I was still using it. So I was able to... So technically speaking... That's better, defensively speaking. So yeah, technically speaking, if I have that circlet on, if I have the Topaz circlet on, the Medusa shield, and the Heart of Vlad, I am immune to all negative status ailments in the game. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Hi! And what will be in here? Ooh, another diamond. Very nice, very nice. All right, and then I have to climb the tower again. Yeah. I will, uh... I don't want that. Damn it, he got me. He got me. So, I'll climb the tower and only take a moment and I'll be... No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Whoa. That was a side dash. That was not what I meant to do at all. I'm here. Double jump. Going up. Going up. Going up. Keep going up. Moving on up. One more. There you go. It has been pretty close to an hour, so this would technically be a pretty decent place to stop. So, hmm. Yeah, I know I did cut off a little bit of time for trying to, you know, for me, recording, it's been an hour, but, um. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna stop for today. So. 
Thank you everyone for watching and keeping up with me and just being generally awesome. Have a wonderful day. I hope you find good deals on Black Friday. Once again, please be careful out there. People are crazy. Don't risk your life. <laughs> Seriously. If you can't get to where you want to go quickly, or I should say safely, don't risk it. There's always next year. Family is more important than that. They would rather have you here than, you know, find out that you died trying to save $20 on a sofa or something. So, seriously, be careful, my friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.